In general, hair loss is among the most common conditions that affect both males and females. It can also affect young people and older people as well. In numbers, there are more than 75 million people in the United States with symptoms of hair loss. With that being said, it is important to understand that you are not the only person with such symptoms and we are in this together. On any given day of our lives, we lose up to 100 hairs. However, with 100,000 hairs on our heads, these losses are difficult to notice, plus the hairs are getting renewed, which is just a part of the hair growth cycle. Hair loss is caused by a broad spectrum of factors. Some of them are common and some of them rarely happen. In general, the causes are genetics, underlying diseases, hormonal changes, and external factors. The first type is androgenic alopecia, where the cause of your balding is due to male sex hormones. The testosterone transforms into dehydrotestosterone, which binds to the hair follicle receptors. It dilates and weakens the follicle, which results in balding. The second type of hair loss is alopecia errata, which results in patches of hair loss throughout the whole body from head to toe. However, the most significant losses are on the scalp and beard. Next, there is telogen effluvium, which is a result of serious diseases, traumatic events, and extremely stressful periods. Also, it can be a result of hormonal changes such as after childbirth and menopause. Medications can also be the reason for telogen effluvium, as well as nutrition deficits such as iron deficiency. When hair loss is a result of chemotherapy and radiation treatment, it is called anagen effluvium. Too much tension or pressure applied to the scalp due to certain hairstyles such as ponytails or braids is another cause of hair loss. Hair loss can be also caused by microorganisms such as Tyna capitis, which is a fungal infection. This results in tiny bald patches that are itchy and the hair gets easily broken. If left untreated, the patches can grow, they can cause scarring, and serve as a potential spot for bacterial superinfection. Hair loss can be experienced differently depending on the cause of the condition. However, some of the common symptoms include receding hairline, which starts above the forehead and goes to the back. This is typical for androgenic alopecia. Thinning of the hair throughout the scalp is typical for female pattern hair loss. Small, balding patches on the head and throughout the body are other symptoms that can be present, which are typical for alopecia areata or microorganism caused hair loss. Although you may be experiencing some symptoms of hair loss, they may be only transitory. To determine the exact cause, it is best to consult with a medical professional. They can run a series of tests and find the reason behind the symptoms you are experiencing so you can be treated immediately and restore your hair. The diagnosis includes your history with any illnesses you had in the past, stressful situations, surgery, as well as a family history of similar symptoms. They'll do a physical exam of your scalp and they can recommend blood work to analyze the hormones as well as your iron levels. In case the dermatologist suspects you have an autoimmune disease that affects the hair follicles, they can recommend a biopsy. The biopsy is done by carefully removing small portions of the scalp so they can be microscopically analyzed. The treatment of hair loss is usually focused on treating the underlying cause since that will relieve all the symptoms. However, if you are suffering from androgenic alopecia, you might need additional treatment that can be separated into topicals, medications, invasive procedures, and surgery. Topicals are the first line of defense you should use. They are readily available, effective, and usually come with no adverse reactions. For example, the New Hair Biofactors line from Nissim is a natural and effective solution that stops hair loss and promotes new hair growth. If you need help navigating what option works best for your specific situation, their free virtual assistant is just one click away. You can get personalized advice by visiting their website in the description below. Medications can be also used in battling hair loss. 
However, do not use them if they are not prescribed by your dermatologist. This will ensure safety and effectiveness to battle your condition. If nothing works, a hair transplant is the last resort for hair loss treatment. Before we get to our conclusion, we'd like to take this opportunity to thank you for watching and learning with us today. If you found the content useful or interesting, we'd really appreciate if you could give this video a like and consider subscribing for more informative updates. Losing hair can be a sign of underlying illness, or it can happen sporadically due to increased sensitivity to male hormones. No matter the cause, this is a condition that is emotionally difficult for people, which significantly affects their confidence and mental health as a whole. For that reason, be sure to prevent further damage to your hair by preventing tight hairstyles, getting enough nutrients, and reducing stress or finding safer coping mechanisms. Also, avoid chemically damaging your hair from dyes, as well as thermal exposure from fans and straighteners. This should help prevent further hair loss and grow much healthier and stronger hair.